Hello there, welcome back. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the Outer Do 3D Leaf Suit. Now, this is a sort of clothing that I had always fancied, but really didn't know where to start because some of them range from 25 to 30 pounds. Uh, what's that? 30 to 35 dollars, up to 100 pounds, 120 dollars or more. So when Outer Do contacted me, and said we want to send you a 3D leaf suit. Do you want to take a look at it and do a video on it? I said yes. Now this is basically a two part kit and I'll show you it before I actually put it on. You've got the pants there, very light material with a draw cord on the waist with all your leafy material on there. You can see it's blowing very very naturally in the wind there. And you've also got a lightweight jacket that's it there with a hood and that's it it's a two-part kit it does not come with a face veil or with gloves but I actually purchased those separately um, from a different company because I couldn't find those by out do just to complete the set and to make it very authentic now this isn't a perfect match but when it's underneath that hood it should be okay still has oak sort of shaped leaves with a bit of green and also a bit of dead leaf in it as well and that comes with a face veil that is your headgear uh, that was from deer hunter and I also got some 3d leafy gloves as well I think they were also from deer hunter I'll put the links to the outer do product and also the deer hunter product in the video description I've already got some brown trousers on. These are jeans, brown jeans, pretty manky. That should be a good base colour for putting this fine mesh suit over. And I'm going to take this smock off. I'm also going to take this black t-shirt off and I'm going to put a commando under fleece on. That's what I would normally wear under a smock because it's got a, a nice big um, bum warmer part to it. Okay, so we've got green, and brown underneath a mixture of green and brown leaf suit that should work pretty well and for those of you who watched a really old video of mine where I reviewed a ghillie suit for like paintballing and that this thing is totally different this is not gonna pick up all the vegetation and pine needles and everything and leaves when you're rolling around in the muck this is very lightweight it's not like that awful big woolly thing that I reviewed in a previous video. Now the bottom of this is elasticated, as are the sleeves, and on the front, well, we've got a draw cord for the hood. Tighten that up around your face, and we've also got a zip down the front as well. Makes putting it on and off really easy. Looking at it in the viewfinder there, I've still got quite a bold outline. But we'll see what it's like when it gets amongst the various trees and cover that I've got around my wood. I've got a good mix of trees. That's the full kit. We've got the two-piece kit from Outer Do, which is the trousers and the jacket got the headgear from Deer Hunter and I've got the 3D leaf gloves also from Deer Hunter. That looks like it's a pretty good set. So I'm going to be standing like that. Static shots, I'll give it maybe five or six seconds and then I'll change position. So there'll be a series of static shots with me somewhere in that shot. I'll try and get it with a solid background and I'll also do it with a a skyline shot or two as well just to see how well the actual shape of me gets broken up against a bold skyline now just so I'm not totally out of sight I'm gonna be standing in front of the cover or just slightly in it I'm not gonna do what a lot of these guys do when they review ghillie suits and so on like get down and hide behind a huge clump of grass or behind a rock you look and you just cannot see them and then suddenly they stand up, here I am, you think well, you could have been wearing bright orange and I wouldn't have seen you, you know, because you were totally hiding. This is going to be a proper test.
Well, I've lifted the face veil up there just so I can see how the suit is reacting to this reasonably strong breeze that we've got blowing through the wood today. Hopefully you can see all those leaf shaped pieces that are hanging off the suit are reacting very, very, very naturally. Not only does it break up the outline slightly, it also blends in because of the camouflage nature of it and the fact that it's got these fake leaf things flapping around in the breeze makes it even more authentic. And with the face veil down, even standing right in front of the camera, possibly no more than three to four feet away from it, you can see that outline is broken up quite nicely. I don't exactly blend in perfectly. It's not like a predator or something, but um, it's very, very good. Now I know I only need two or three shots really to show how well it blends into the background but I'm going to keep going, I'm going to do some more situations in various places, various light and dark situations, various backgrounds because I know for a fact there'll be a lot of proper hunters watching this and I want this to be as informative as possible. Now I know there's going to be a lot of people in the UK saying what the hell is he doing carrying a compound bow around? You know, not many people hunt with them when in fact it is illegal, uh, supposedly illegal to hunt with a compound bow in the UK. So, you know, what's the point in showing that? Well, I would say approximately 60% of the views that I get on my videos come from US viewers. And in the US, bow hunting is huge. So that's why I'm using a bow. Well, in the UK we generally use rifles, you know, the most common ones are 2.2 um, but we also use 1.7s, we use, we use treble 2s, 2.43s, 22.250s, all sorts of varying calibers for different size game and also a shotgun shooting is huge as well. Imagine this in a pigeon hide, you know, you're going to be very very well camouflaged because pigeons have got pretty keen eyes. So this is really for everybody. But the reason I'm using the bow is for the US viewers to see just how well or how not well this blends into the various backgrounds. Now I'll do something I don't do much of, which is to hold the camera whilst I'm walking. I'll try and get panoramic shots to let you see how well it blends in with certain backgrounds as I'm walking. There you go. Hopefully that will give you some indication of what this leaf suit is going to make you look like from the prey point of view.
and the fact that we've got this breeze just makes it even more authentic look at that all those little leaves flapping in the breeze now the best thing about this compared to that previous awful thing that I reviewed is that I've been kneeling sitting I've been dragging myself through brambles and so on not one bit of vegetation has stuck to this so I'm not dragging half of Northumberland around with me I like it very very much thumbs up from me if you've liked this video give it a thumbs up check the video description there will be links to all this gear in there thanks for watching see you next time